Last night, Clark Mann learned how to use iMessage on his iPad, so now he's really into sending text messages. How is your school day? I miss you so much. <gasps> a little sad emoji. Oh, she's gonna love that. Pictures of me. Oh, you sent her pictures? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> very, uh, very good photos, Clark Mann. She's like. <clears throat> in other creative ventures, Clark Mann also has something else going on in the office. Today, of course, is Pap's birthday, and we're going out for dinner with him. So we need to make him a card, and the final touches are going on to it. Looks like it may be a rocket. It says, happy birthday. And inside it says, you are the best Pappy in the world. We've got to put an R in there. And then it says, you are the best in space. Stop staring at me. <laughs> Stop staring at me. I'm not zoomed in at all on you, Clark, man. Yes, you are. Oh, no. <laughs> Today's pack day. How's this for a well-balanced lunch? We've got a tasty turkey sandwich. We've got the cheesy Cheeto Puffs. We've got delicious Dunkaroos. And the good-for-you Go-Go Squeeze. All in there for Clark Man's lunch in the Creeper lunchbox. I've never felt like more of a parent than packing a lunch for a first grader. This is like one of those moments where you realize that you have reached middle age. I'm okay with that. I don't know if I ever showed this, but here's a picture on Clark's folder of us on orientation day, all wearing shorts, a beautiful August day. And that's been in there all year, so Clark Mann can, can look at us when he does all of his work. Is it done? Yes, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. I, I made some crazy g robot guys on the back. Holy smokes. It's a mutant creeper. It has happy birthday banner up there. And then like this weird like mutant creeper robot with the actual mutant creeper from Minecraft next to it. The, they're like giraffes pretty much. Pap's going to love that. Yeah. <laughs> they're giraffes. Cool. And that's the happy birthday card for my favorite Pappy. Very nice. We've reached the time in the morning to play some piano. I like Mr. Rogers a little bit. It says, Clark, time to work on those piano skills. You won't believe today's workout. Oh, you're over one, bud. You gotta make sure. We gotta mark these so you can see them better. Okay, you got that. Perfect. Beautiful. Dude, you're doing so good. You got this, man. Oops, sorry. I bumped it. I, I will stop. Yeah, why did they make those little circles? That means you're too high or too low when you're looking at that. When it pops a circle down there, it means the key you hit is too low. It means it's too far over this way. And when it's up on top of that, it means it's too high. So, so you missed that one, but go back to two. There you go. See how that's showing you're too high? There you go. Learning piano is like anything in life. If you want it, you'll get it, but you have to work for it and you have to put the time and pressure on it. And that's what I'm committed to do and I think what Clark Mann is as well. This is what we're gonna do every day. We're gonna get there. From humble beginnings to great journeys. Simply Piano, keyboard from Amazon, we can do it. We're gonna end this morning's session off with my greatest accomplishment from my first night, and that was Baby Shark. Such a good song. Three stars, let's go, Baby Shark. Holy smokes. I think we got some birds making nests in here. He's coming in hot. Give me hugs. Thank you. Help me with my brake light situation earlier. There's a plane coming off the thing because he's Oh my gosh. All right. I love you. Love you guys. Have a great day. Another day, another bus. Welcome everyone to a slightly more frigid Home Alone with Greg. Let's start today off by getting you guys up to speed on my vehicle hunt, which started yesterday unexpectedly when my vehicle failed inspection. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go out look for a new car. I tried it a year ago. It's gotta be better now. 
No, no, it's not better now. Last night, I ended up looking at a Toyota Highlander after the dealership was closed. It was a nice vehicle, but it was a 2018 with 40,000 miles and they wanted $40,000 for it. When I came home, I looked up the information on that and that vehicle brand new in 2018, it sold for about $42,000. So it's four years old, 40,000 miles, and it's almost exactly what it sold for new. And that is painful. But in the meantime, last night I decided to maybe look at some other Toyotas, specifically their hybrids, since they've been doing this forever. And I settled on a RAV4. I was like, you know, this is really perfect. It's bigger than the Subaru. It gets like 40 miles per gallon, which is nice because gas prices are going or seem to be, and probably will continue going that way. So I looked at some dealerships nearby and I found that there was like nothing in stock. There was like maybe one at this one dealership and maybe one at this other one. I called them both this morning and both of those vehicles are sold. So I asked, I said, well, what's the process for possibly like ordering one or getting one in stock? And she basically said that they get new vehicles maybe like once a week and occasionally those are RAV4s and occasionally they might be in the trim level or the color that I want and the best they can do for me is to call me if one of those happens to come in and I can immediately come in and put a deposit down on it. Not to mention the fact that they're not charging MSRP for these vehicles. They're going up, up, up. I think they're all about like three to $5,000 more than what they should be selling them for. So for me, from a financial standpoint, like this is like worst case scenario. I was thinking last year when I looked at vehicles, like I test drove a hybrid Highlander. They had several of them on on stock there, they had like four. They had some RAV4s. I remember in 2019, two years before that, when we bought Cody's truck, there was an entire line of Toyota Tacomas there that you could just really pick like any color you want, any trim level, they had everything. Now, these days, because of the chip shortage, there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing. And you think maybe the answer is to go get a used car, but now these used cars, as you saw with that Highlander, all those prices are going up. So this is a very uh, good example of uh, capitalism where supply is low, demand is, is where it has always been, and uh, prices go up accordingly. So, I've made the executive decision. As much as I wanted to upgrade and still want to, and it's it's definitely on the horizon, like whenever it can happen, I made the decision that I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get the Subaru fixed. So it's about $900 for the rear wheel bearings. Then there was something else like a control arm on the uh, on the front end. So all in, I think I'm gonna be about $1,500 into this car. But $1,500 is much better than spending $40,000 on a car that's worth 35 or a used one that sold for 42 and uh it just it just sucks like i had if i had any idea like it was going to go down this way and i'm sure probably every other person that's bought a car in the last two years feels this way we all would have bought something in 2019 back in the good days who would have thought that we were all living our best lives in 2019 it was such a good year then everything just just they need a piece of paper. I don't have anything I can actually throw away here unless I destroy one of Clark Mann's <laughs> drawings. But just think of a piece of paper crumbling. That is that is my life. So, um, yeah, I'm getting the, the car fixed on Monday, and we'll just go on a holding pattern. If the Toyota dealership calls me and they have a RAV4 in stock that, that's my color and trim level, I might, I might pay that extra. But it just sucks because, like, almost everything that I would sell – the Subaru 4 would be eaten up in their their exorbitant pricing, so it just it seems it seems dumb to uh, to buy something right now, especially considering like I know the Subaru really well. I've owned it since day one. I know it's been maintained, well taken care of. I, I I've done everything to it, and now with these last few repairs, I, I it'll be it'll be up to par. It just won't necessarily be the size that I want because we bought this in a very different time in our lives where the two of us in Roxy Bear was all we had now with Clark Man and doing traveling and stuff. It's, it's a little cramped, but we've made it work and we'll continue to make it work. And I'm going to keep that $40,000 in my pocket and uh, you know, I guess we'll just see what happens here with the, with the world and the, the chip shortage and vehicles and all the other crazy stuff that's going on in, the, in our lifetime right now. Wild times to be alive, not the best of times, but uh, hopefully not the worst of times either. How many text messages can you get in one video? Oh my gosh, I talked way too long, I'm sorry guys. It's 2.35 and I literally just spent the entire day editing videos, like three or four videos, tons of footage, ah! Now doing something even less exciting, I'm cleaning the floors. 
getting them all mopped up and looking nice. We're having some guests over because today is Pap's birthday and we're going out for dinner. So I thought, you know, the floors look like crap. It'd be nice to have them clean, everything looking good. The house all spiffed up. And I've got, uh, I guess about 30 minutes to do all of this. So wish me luck. Beautiful, beautiful. Six minutes to spare. Most impressive. The legend has returned. How'd you know I was gonna say that? <laughs> Look who I brought with me today. The real legend, Rexy Beer. How was school today, Mr. Pants? Good. Today my I didn't eat all my pack lunch. I had some sandwich. And I ate a Goku squeeze and that's it. Did you eat the Cheetos? No. What? I thought that'd be the first thing you went for. No. So you had some of your sandwich, which I was only half. I probably been spending those Cheetos for special occasions. <laughs> well, that, was, that was today you packed. Today's not a special occasion. It is. It's Pappy's birthday. We're going out for dinner with Pap. It is I a know. special occasion. Um, so you ate half half of your half of a sandwich, basically. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. And uh, go go squeeze. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah, a whole okay. go go squeeze. And that's well, that's it. not much. You're gonna have to eat pack it in at, at dinner tonight. I am. At Texas Roadhouse. I am. <laughs> Our first time going there locally. We've been there before. I told people today it was Pappy's birthday, and they seem excited about that. We gotta figure out how old he is. He's sixty-six. Did you really? Yeah. Remember? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. He is, because he was born in nineteen fifty-five, right? Yeah. Am I doing the math right on that? I think so. Some <laughs> live math, not good. So Pap turned sixty-six years old and we go to Texas Roadhouse to celebrate such a momentous, monumentous, momentous occasion. <coughs> Bless you. He even knew how old you were too. How old am I? How's he know this stuff? He's so smart. Kyle and Landon never knew it. I could fool them forever. Yeah, they would always think you're 37, but they actually know you're older than that. Who <laughs> knows is not get stuffy again, is it? Oh, no, stuffy no. It has been a week. He hasn't been sick. Is it stuffy day? Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, Card right on the top. It's just right on Thank you, grandson. I need that by myself. Grease best? Cool. Now, the tea sure looks like a cross you put in a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> so are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> I mean, you're 66. <laughs> you're you you are a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> See, you made me a target, though. That's cool. The, the, no, it's um, a um, creeper face. Oh, for okay. The, for the A. You have to assume everything is Minecraft. Yes, rule. Two fingers. A Minecraft paper balloon. Oh, that's right. Cool. I forgot. Trying to order ahead. Figure out what you want. Happy in the world. Thank you. You are the best in space. Not just the world, but also space. Is the eagle over there? Uh, hey, that's that's pretty good, Clark. I, I was just a little bit. Oh, but that's not all. That's not all? Nope, nope, no. Nope, nope. There's something else in here? Mm-hmm. We're gonna bite me? I don't know what it is. You might. I don't know what mom has to Oh, Roxy right Bear. Up. What did you do? Oh, what is that smell? That's, uh... Oh, dear Lord. That's Roxy Bear. Oh. I tasted what? it. And then she's my favorite. Oh, I tasted it. <laughs> you tasted it? Sorry to ruin your moment, Pat. <laughs> I'm trying to hear it. Oh god. <laughs> you too? Man, it's nasty. The, the tag well, that's team. That's a nice summer shirt. Oh, that is. That yeah. looks like a good Knoebel shirt if yeah, I've ever seen does. one before. Yes, you're right, baby. Right after Knoebel's with us. You can look if you want. Where are we going? They open this weekend. We're taking the truck, and apparently they're all trying to fit into the back here. Happy. This is not happening. He can do what he wants on his birthday. He's taking his up here. Why don't you sit back there and dad gets this spot? He's yeah, a come, birthday boy. Come on up here, birthday boy. <laughs> sit up here. Tons of room for That's activities better. back here. Skinny everybody butt. Can, everybody can fit in this park. We're all good. We don't need to upgrade vehicles. <laughs> no. We're good. Oh. Oh my that God. third row is looking really enticing right now, isn't it, though? <laughs> he set his intention yeah, with the crystal. 
What is to it? To beat Pappy and Fargo. No. <laughs> I said you can't do that. It's his birthday. That's not. You nice. gotta let Pap win at least one no. game, even if you have to really just throw yeah, it. He can try all you want to. He's going down. <laughs> here it is, baby. Can I go out? Look the... at the cars here already. Can, can I jump out? The they literally window? just opened at four. Should I just go over there? Or no, that's really Where far away. Go? Holy sure. smokes. Look at, the, look at this place. That is a little nuts. Also, Roxy has been back here, I can tell. Our first time. <laughs> she drew, they're locked. Come on, birthday boy. And plus one. <laughs> oh my God. Don't tempt me. I could grab that Yoshi so easily. We should grab him on the way We out. might play, oh, there's a little shy guy down there. Oh my gosh, we might play that. Any of our the deliciousness. What's that? French fries? Oh, no, that's, that's bread. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. It's a blue drink, so that's why. <laughs> I do love my blue drinks. I'll try it. Isn't the dough just like so heavy? So <laughs> is there an ooze container yeah, with our thing? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I'm dipping in. <laughs> yeah, she Good. loves it all right. Oh wow, that's incredible. We should have probably not done this. Things just got real here. Bam. What is that? Clark Man mashed potatoes. Are they smashed? Delicious. Pat copy me. And someone got actual healthy, somewhat healthy food. Thumbs up from the Clark man on the chicken wings. Yay, winner. <laughs> the domination took place, boxes to go. That's left of my oh, steak. No. Oh, Bear would love that. Aww. What happened? It's oh no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Pap. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. You bet, man. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Don't you dare! You look like a bathroom rug. <laughs> <laughs> Just like right outside the tub where you step on a really nice. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Happy! Happy birthday to you! Thank you all, and many hey, more. I need your help. Make a way. Ah, Yay! Pat's hey. number two. Because Yemi's number one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> number two grandparent. Wow. <laughs> Poor man can't even enjoy his birthday. There's wax on my food. Sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. Got a little carried away. Yeah. Happy birthday, Pat. Thank you.